Drake. Great fortune. Yes. Oh, Tabitha. Here I am. If there's any single ladies. Here with the infamous. All right, and it's family Look, affair, right? Fa- yeah. Okay. And Sigmund into Sea Monster. And Sigmund into Sea Monster. Sawyer. Yeah, I tried to get her to interview you because I'm like, you guys immediately connect, and I'm like, yeah. Well, you have to be <laughs> around 40 plus to know who I am and what I did. <laughs> oh my gosh! All right, <laughs> scary, scary, scary for me right now. <laughs> Okay, all right. I'm here with John Whitaker at the Sheena Metal. You can call me Johnny Whitaker. Okay, Johnny Whitaker at the Sheena <laughs> Metal Experience, her anniversary party. So, what brings you out tonight? Well, Sheena asked me to be one of her guests. So, uh, I've, she's always been really kind when I've had something to promote or whatever. She's always had me on. And uh, then I said, if I can, I would be there. And then she said, oh, would you be one of my guests? And I said, of course. So, what has been your relationship with Sheena, and how long have you known her for? Gosh, probably about six or seven years, mm-hmm. and uh, have been just, I've known her from her, her show, listened to her show, um, and uh, I'm, I'm friends with Susan Olson as well, and so I've been on this show when the two of them have been oh, on, nice. so been on Sheena Metal, and then also uh, Sheena and Susan's show, so. Well, I we did a little bit of research on you. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. So, Family Affairs, and you played Cody. Jody. Oh, Jody. Oh, That's okay. Jody, Cody. Cody's Jody. close. Cody. Jody. See, ah, you see, see. If, if you're younger than oh my gosh. 40, then you, it's okay. So we forgive you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Here I am. Now I'm like so embarrassed. But you know, hey, that's showbiz. That's <laughs> it. Yes. Just have the show goes on, right? Right. Okay. So what projects have you been working on? Well, um, actually, right now I am a. Uh, a counselor mm-hmm. at the LA prison, uh, which is um, Lancaster State Prison. I've been there for about six months, and I'm working with uh, the prison project, helping guys get back into real life after being incarcerated for 5, 10, 15, 20 years. That's um, great, and I heard also that you have, you're you an advocate for things related to mental health illness as yes, well? Yes, mental health and uh, drug addiction, alcoholism, drug addiction. Um, I myself am a person in long-term recovery. I just celebrated 17 years clean and sober, and I'm a drug and alcohol counselor uh, by trade when I'm not working. Um, I just finished a play back in uh, North Carolina. I was uh, in To Kill a Mockingbird. But uh, and I did an, a, a play in New York at the beginning of last year, but uh, most of the time I'm I'm just doing the work, um, advocacy for mental health and drug and alcohol issues. Well, congratulations on your sobriety. Thank you. And I think it's great that you're working as an advocate like that. I our organization actually supports a lot of community services Excellent. organizations, especially starting with the youth that have to deal with mental health and education. So what do you think needs to be done about education for mental health? Well, unfortunately, we've had too many deaths Mm -hmm. and too many times when people who don't understand uh, mental health issues and the police think that they are being mean and awful, and sometimes individuals with mental health disease can be mean and awful, but if you understand that you cannot um, you cannot reason with the unreasonable. And a person who has a mental health issue, who is in a, a cycle of mental health issues, they are unreasonable and there's no way to reason with them. You've got to stop, understand that, and then try to work around them, move them if you can, or until they get to the point where they can be, all it does is escalate the situation if you start fighting with them and all of that. And unfortunately, three or four times it's led to death uh, by police and by others. And so we have to be be very mindful of that. And uh, drug and alcohol, people who have a drug and alcohol problem have to be recognized as having a disease and not a, a bad person because they have a problem with drugs or alcohol. I was a crackhead. Uh, 17 years ago. I was a meth head 17 years ago. Um, I sold drugs 17 years ago. Um, I was not a successful part of society 17 years ago. 17 years into the future, I am, 
working with others, helping others. Uh, and if a little bit of my celebrity can help, wonderful. I'm on uh, two different boards. Okay. I'm uh, on uh, the uh, board of directors of an organization called A New Path, which is Parents for Addiction Treatment and Healing. And we help incarcerated individuals um, and we fight for recognizing that mental health issues need to be brought to the forefront and that drugs and alcohol and people who have that um, are not bad people. And then I'm also on the board of directors for Alcohol Justice, who uh, we work to keep alcohol ads off public property. Uh, we just won, uh, three, after three years in Los Angeles City, um, our organization, Alcohol Justice and many others, uh, of which I'm a part of, uh, we got alcohol ads to not be on public property anymore, uh, including bus benches, bunch, uh, bus uh, furniture, and uh, because that's not something we want our children and other people, if it's our property, take it off of our property. You can put it on anybody's, you know, private property, but not our property that we pay for. Now, are those local organizations or national? Well, they're, um, they're both national organizations, but they're based in San Diego for A New Path and in uh, Marin County for uh, Alcohol Justice. Okay, well, I'm going to look them up because we would love to support and be an advocate behind you on these because Please that's do. great. Stay out of my camera. <laughs> well, who do you think you are? <laughs> she gets in my camera. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> so we have more video bombers at the event. Okay. So is there one message you would like to share with Sheena tonight for her event? Just congratulations. Keep up the good work. And uh, I love you lots. Well, this has been a great conversation with Johnny, and I look forward to following you and your well, efforts you. on advocacy. Thank you very much. Steers a straight... Great fortune. Boy. Yes. Oh, Tabitha. Here I am. If there's any single ladies... Here, with the infamous... 